god, morning everybody! It's me again, Crazy Bag Lady. It's quarter past nine. My hubby was still here, so he nipped Ruby to school, so I haven't had to go out yet. I've had my breakfast, I've made my hubby an egg cob, I've stripped Ruby's bed, and that's now in the washing machine, so we're on a roll this morning, and I'm so tired. I went to bed even later last night than I did on Sunday night. I'm so bad. I could do with like my mum here to make me go to bed. <laughs> anyway, so it's quarter past nine. Well, it's just gone quarter past nine. So I'm not sure what we're doing yet today. So good morning. Oh, right. Do you sometimes feel, especially maybe if you're a bit of a housewife, um, that you spend half your day just wandering around your house? Oh, I forgot to show you as well. Blinds. We have a little bit of uppage on the blinds. And then this side we have loads. So that seems to be the norm now. So um, I think it's my hubby and he opens this side but he never opens this side. I'll ask him later why he never opens this side, but we'll uh, discuss that later. So I just feel like I spend half my time just wandering around the house collecting things. So I'm now on the hunt for some sandpaper. Uh, there's my little sanding block. But I need some sandpaper because I've got to get rid of all the rough, like loose bits of paint in my little toilet before I can paint it. So there's my sanding block. Let's find some sandpaper. Ooh, I found some, but that's all we've got left. <laughs> oh dear. Um, it might just be enough. So without further ado, I'm going to go upstairs and sand that wall. But literally every time I try and sand the wall, I end up doing something else. I don't know if anyone else feels like this. But then you think, like, that wants moving. That's a battery pack that shouldn't be in my kitchen. So I need to move that. That box wants moving. Um, I need to empty my dishwasher. I need to wash up. And it's like, you just end up with so many other jobs that you don't get your other jobs done. So I thought, right, just ignore the other jobs and go and do some sanding. Do you agree, Winnie? Yeah. <laughs> I come through the hall and I look at the floor and I think, oh no, it all wants hoovering. Oh, ignore the dust, ignore the muck on the floor, Jane. You want to sand. Right, let's go upstairs. Even my stairs need hoovering as well. Oh dear. So many jobs, look. It all needs hoovering. Right, so as you can see, there's all like little loose flecks of paint. So before I can obviously paint anywhere, I've got to smooth this off. So. Without further ado, let's scrub. I think if I start in this corner, um, then I won't stand in all the bits on the floor. Right, I'll see you when I've done it. Right, I've sanded it. So now the floor's covered in dust. So I've got Mr. Shark. I don't really want to use Mr. Shark for this, but I can't think of any other way to clean it all up properly. So right, let's get Mr. Shark on the job and get the dust picked up. Oh, I told you one thing leads to another. So I've now ended up in James's room trying to tidy up a bit. Look at the state of his bed, really. <laughs> so I've ended up in here sort of titivating a little bit. So I'm going to have a quick tidy around in here and then measure up for where I want to put my wallpaper and stuff in my posh toilet. Oh, I've tried to put some jeans away in James's drawer and his drawers were overflowing. So I'm just wondering if I can quickly con Marie his jeans drawer it might make it easier to put things away and stuff and then this was at the bottom of the drawer was he ever this small oh look it's like a little football kit it's so tiny it's so cute oh I've done it I cannot believe I fitted all those clothes in um and it's done and it fits and it's lovely and it shuts and da, that's perfect I haven't got time to do all his drawers not today but um I will do for him and I want to do rubies as well because it's so much easier to find what you want to wear it's worth taking the time to do it I'm back downstairs again oh god so now I've stripped two beds so Ruby's bed's in the wash and I've stripped James's bed as well and I thought well I might as well if I'm washing one I might as well wash two um and I got to make his bed as well because it was such a mess so I've stripped his bed as well so we're on a mission bed washing bed making hoovering tidying up finding random pieces of cardboard everywhere and oh we're so busy oh it's half past ten so I've managed to get his bed made I've just got to put obviously the clean duvet cover back on when it's done I've had a bit of a tidy round I need to whiz the hoover round oh it's never ending in here I could spend all day in here and it still wouldn't be tidy oh I bloody love this hoover it's amazing never ceases to amaze me how much muck it picks up it is absolutely brilliant it's even picked a chocolate wrapper up lot that was hidden under his bed absolutely amazing love it mr shark you're fabulous ah oh, the easiest way to tackle stairs can't believe it can you that you can take your hoover apart like this it's just absolutely brilliant and so easy to hoover i love it oh, bed sheets are out again 
it's not really sunny but it is a bit windy so i'm hoping the wind will waft them a bit and get some fresh air through them i love sheets being on the washing line they smell so much cleaner oh i've had a few people message me about putting your pajamas on at four o'clock i didn't realize it's quite a common thing so maybe ruby was right and you should put your pajamas on at four o'clock so yay here's for putting your pajamas on at four o'clock <laughs> it's just me that never gets very early to bed obviously so yeah if you put your pajamas on at four o'clock it's fine to 20 past 11 so i've just made myself a quick cup of coffee but i'm still carrying on with my jobs but uh, there's my coffee of the morning oh, right i'm in my little toilet <laughs> There's really not much room in here. So I've been marking out my lines where I'm gonna put my paint and my paper. Obviously, because I'm painting some of it black and then papering it with my wallpaper, B wallpaper. So I'm gonna have to paint it first. It's a bit complicated trying to work it all out. So oh, I've been marking my little lines. So I've got a little tape measure and my little posh ruler. Oh, I've given up working out. It's done me idea. And I've worked out one wall and I need to work out the other wall, but I don't, oh, it's just complicated. I'm trying to do something with my wallpaper that I've never done before, so it's quite hard to work it out. So anyway, I want to nip out a bit this afternoon. I don't want to just stay in, I want some fresh air. So I'm just gonna curl my hair, have some dinner, then we'll nip out. I've not brushed them out, I've just kind of left them so they're a bit more ringlety rather than brushed out. So there's my little curls. Right, so I've got my dinner. So I've got seafood steaks, little tomatoes, mackerel and olive oil. So I'm going to have a quick dinner and then I'll decide what we're going to do. Right, <laughs> lipstick of the day, Amy. Um, I really must stop wearing this. I'm trying to wear different ones but every time I think mm, I feel a bit fed up so I want something bright and cheerful so I keep using this Avon one which is a uh, resilient red in the 16 hour power stay 16 hour lip color and it's so put it the right way around it's so bright and so cheerful and it lasts forever and by the time i go to bed i have to get like a facial wipe and scrub <laughs> to get it off it doesn't come off it's just lovely it's so nice um it doesn't last quite as nice as the chanel one but obviously the chanel one's more expensive but um i've just noticed that this is on offer in the latest book for seven pound uh, I paid nine, so um, it's on offer for seven. I don't think for seven pound you can go wrong. They do loads of colours. You don't obviously have to have one as bright as this because this is quite a bright lipstick. Um, but they have got some really nice nude ones and stuff as well. So I'm quite tempted to maybe get another one in a different colour. I just love them. They're so nice and they don't come off. They're just lovely. So anyway, right, that's the lipstick on. Let's go out. Right, we've made it in the cart. Today's all about animal prints. So we've got a leopard coat on and a zebra jumper. Why not? <laughs> anyway, we're going to charge up. Let's go for a rummage. And it's really cold. I'm freezing. It's cold in my car. So all let's right, go. We've made it. So let's go for a little rummage. I'm hoping it doesn't rain. It's not supposed to rain, but the sky looks a bit iffy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, about 9.30, 9.30, yeah. oh, it is me on a Saturday. Is it? Oh, right. 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 Oh, right.
You know your sticky bags? Oh, yeah. Do a circle, and then another circle, and then another circle. And that one's just two. Yeah. 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 Made it back in the car. Can't make my mind up if it's hot or not. One minute I was hot in there and then I was cold. Whew. Anyway, so I've tried a few bits on it. was very interesting. I bought a couple of bits. Nothing really, really exciting, but I did get a few little bits and bobs. So I enjoyed my little rummage. So now we need to go home and then we'll be soon off on school run. Right, I've made it home. So I've just put the kettle on. We've got about half an hour till we've got to go. So I think we've got time for a little yogurt, a few grapes and a coffee. Uh, I forgot to say, I've put my revolution foundation on today because one of my lovely friends messaged me and said um try putting it on my fingers because they said it like warms it up a bit and like rubs it in better so this is my revolution foundation not my revlon foundation so i think it's actually gone on quite well actually it's lasted all right and it hasn't gone cakey because i put it on with my fingers although it has settled in my little wrinkles a bit around my eyes as you can see look little crow's feet mm. <laughs> anyway let's get that coffee made Right, what did I buy? I always buy something. So I bought this cushion um, because I thought it would kind of match some of the others that I've got in my little room. Um, and it's by Voyage and Mason. So I think it probably was a very expensive cushion at some time or another. Um, and it's like, vel this is like, like a brush. It's like velvet, but it's not velvet. It's like a corded velvet. Um, but I've got, let's see it from here. I've got a peacock cushion and I thought the colours would go quite well with it. So I bought that. Um, what else did I get? I got this for Ruby. Ruby's going to love this. It's a pug money box. Look at it. She's very into pugs at the minute. So she's kind of gone from Harry Potter. We seem to be going down a pug theme now. So I got her a little money box. I think it's very funny. It reminds me of Winnie, definitely. Um, and then I got this for Ruby which I thought was really funny. So in the holiday, she might do this with one of her friends. So it's to test how smart your dog is, but it's just really quirky. And I did have a flick through it and read some of the questions and it's quite easy to do. You've just got to score your dog on different things that they do. So <laughs> I just thought it was funny. Um, I'd definitely be interested to see how Winnie and Florence score on that. 
I bought a little blouse, uh, it's a Laura Ashley one, um, and it's black, it's slightly see-through, but I'll wear a vest up underneath it. And it's got all like frills down the front, which I know are really in at the minute. I know big sleeves are in as well, but I thought the thrill, th frills, thrills was really good. Um, I got this little thing, which is number seven, and it originally obviously had loads of makeup brushes in it. It's only got one makeup brush in it, but um, I think it's like a foundation brush and it was only £1.50. So I thought for a number seven brush for £1.50, I kind of thought it was worth it. So I bought that and I liked this. I think it's nice for putting your little brushes in. It's really sweet. And then I got myself a mug. Another mug of the day. You're going to like this one. I couldn't resist it. Um, it says on it, I'd rather be buying shoes. <laughs> I love that, it was so funny, it was 99p. And I know these Stubbs mugs can be quite expensive when they're new, so I just like these little mugs for a cup of coffee, they're just right size, so I love that. I'd rather be buying shoes. I'd rather be buying bags, but shoes do come second. I haven't bought any shoes for a while, so I thought that was really cool. So a new mug of the day, and that was it for days. All right, there's my little cup of coffee. So we've got our love shopping and a little Danone active little yogurt. So just gonna eat this quick, then we've got to go on school run. Oh, there's my tea ready for when I get back. So literally when I get back, all I've got to do is put them in the oven. So it's chicken thighs with a tiny little bit, bit of cheese poked inside them, then wrapped in bacon. And then all I've got to do is put them in the oven when I get home. And I'm going to have them with salad. And everybody else is gonna have like coppers and stuff with them and crisps. So it'll be a nice little tea. All right, we're in the car. So I've got my thicker coat on because I think it's dropped a bit cooler. Um, CD of the day, we've got Avron, Avagold, and it's like got some of the real big classics that you can really sing along to, like Chikatita and Money, 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 and oh, it's just really good. And my stereo is quite good in my car, so it goes really loud. It's lovely, I love to sing along. Let's go on score run. I've got a. You okay, Ru? Yeah. Yeah, get a good day. Yeah? You still enjoying your new school? Yeah. Yay! All right, we've made it back. And Ruby's very determined to be an excellent reader, so she's now going to read to us all. I've done my spelling. <laughs> you have, yes, you did your spellings very well. I well done. Wrong. Excellent. Get reading then. Um, <laughs> We're all waiting. If you can hear a funny squeaky noise, it's my tumble dryer. It squeaks as it goes round. <laughs> you get used to it now. Yeah, you do. Um, okay, remember where you got to? I think it was the next chapter, but I think I didn't read this bit. Okay, read that bit then to us then. Okay. Moonface, it will be the children who will go hungry. I guess when they are hungry enough, they will open the larder door and let Dame Sap out. All right. Goodness, what a temper she will be in. They all hurried through the land at the top of half a frame that Dame, <laughs> that Dame Slap might be let out before they were safe. Very good reading, Ruby. Well done. Oh, and that, ladies and gentlemen, is my tea. So I've got lots of chicken, which was wrapped in bacon. That's like my little bit of slow fat cheese that I've melted. I've got three ribita, which is my slow world box. Lots of salad and a bit of low fat mayonnaise. So off to enjoy my tea. Right, half past six at night. And I was sat watching telly. Then I was looking at rubbish on my phone on the internet. And I could have gone to sleep, I was so tired. And then I've come back in the kitchen and realised I've got washing up to do, I've got to feed the dogs and the cat. I've got everybody's pack up to do for tomorrow. I'm still sorting out bed clothes. So I've got Ruby's bed to me, I've got a bit of duvet cover and stuff to put on. And I thought, Jane, you can't sit and go to sleep. <laughs> so I've come back in the kitchen and realised I've got all this work to do. So without further ado, let's crack on with the jobs. I'm so tired. jobs like I need to do this as well I'm now a driving instructor <laughs> I'm so tired <laughs> right so we're now going for a half an hour driving lesson there's me James and Ruby I forgot your name Ruby <laughs> me James and Ruby so I'm driving to the like little destination and then James will have a ride around and practice his uh, clutch control and stuff so are you ready mm -hmm. let's go Ooh. 
all right, James is driving again. And uh, we've just realised there's loads of little people running towards us jogging. <laughs> Would you like to go jogging at about quarter to eight at night? I'd go jogging at all. <laughs> no, I'm not very good at jogging. It's cold. It is cold, a bit cold for jogging. Oh, shorts. Ooh, they've got shorts on. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, we're going along. Professional at work. <laughs> yourself Ruby? Yeah. It's a bit scary isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> it's not too bad just sometimes I'm like oh watch the curb. Oh I've never told anybody's drive before. It's very stressful <laughs> but he's doing really well. Right it is we made it back safely again thank goodness so James did really well again bless him it's so hard to learn to drive but we're really proud of him he's trying really hard. Yay. Anyway, so thanks for joining me today. I hope this video isn't too long because I think I feel like I've been on here a long time today. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to say if you do enjoy life in England, daily vlogs, handbags, shopping, red lipstick, and anything else that we get up to, then please subscribe to my channel and come and find me on Instagram as Mrs. Crazy Bag Lady. So I love you and leave you, and I'll speak to you tomorrow, my darlings. Bye!